Marcus. Yeah. Okay. All right, stand by on Kim. Gonna have A and the TV behind her. About 15 seconds or 10. George will be out of the Stand open, by just so you know. George. Stand by on 12. In 3, We're gonna hit you 2, out the open. 1, music, Mike, George. Coming up on Channel 3 News today, Brown star receiver Josh Gordon arrested. What this means for him and the team. White, Plus, up. police say they have full confessions, new developments, and a Cleveland Heights murder investigation that came on the day a well-loved business owner is laid to rest. Is up. And another day of mourning for a local family whose loved one was found dead in Phoenix. North Carolina last week. White, Plus, two up. local firefighters hurt Ready battling G. flames with someone's holiday celebration to blame for that fire. I'm Kim Wheeler, and this is Channel 3 News. Rowing G, sound. This Channel 3 newscast is brought to you by the Calvetta Ready Brothers George, Floor HD1. Show. It's time to fall in love again with your home. Tell me he's on. This and now, on you. Channel 3 News. Mike Kim, Q Kim. Wow, look at that. Just a beautiful look at Lake Erie. We're down at the east. Street, 9th Street here, Ready and it 11. is a gorgeous morning out there as we wrap up our holiday weekend. We have a live look for you this morning. We're going to be giving you more of those throughout the morning as well. And we get up. ready to head back to work, but Marcus, it has been ready perfect to see. for this Clear. holiday weekend. See, he's rolling. It's yes, up. It open market. Perfect weather across Northeast Ohio. So if you have any plans to do anything outdoors today, once again, will be a good day. But this morning, we ready weather one. there are some isolated showers showing up, ones up on the radar. Most of this activity that's off across Hill parts of back Michelin Kim. and Ashland County and southern sections of Huron County should be on not one. actually be on reaching 13. the ground, but it is showing up on the radar. It's associated with a weak system that moved out of the middle of the country in our direction for this morning. But winds out of the south now, now can you for the most to part, the right, anywhere from 7 to about 13 side, miles per hour. Still calm toward Ravenna, and temperatures right now are in the upper 60s to lower 70s. 72 degrees downtown, 71 degrees toward Elyria, and in the 60s toward Mansfield and Worcester. Eventually, we are going to Marcus. the upper 70s, some of us even into the lower 80s, and we do have those spotty yeah, rain chances just to the south and west. That won't be a big issue for anyone at all today. So if you have any outdoor plans, keep them. We'll see by 9 a.m. We have temperatures Ready, in the Marcus 60s. on camera 13. By we'll have temperatures in the mid-70s. And then in the afternoon, we warm into the upper 70s across northeast Ohio. But we'll give you more details on your weather coming up in just a few Ready minutes. Ready, box. box is up. All right, thank you very much, Mark. Open C. C's up. Ready, A sound. Keep C under here, Jose. What's up? Going after going? this, um, you gotta let the guy go. We have enough distractions. He's just a guy who needs a lot of help, and we should give him the help. But somebody has up, to get into up. John Gordon's brain and say, "Look, at him. you gotta learn to behave yourself." He had the warnings, and he screwed up. Mike, push Stewart. Well, it remains our top story today. Uh, WKYC like the broke the news online yesterday afternoon. Brown's wide receiver, Josh Gordon, arrested in Raleigh, North Ready Carolina B. on DWI charges. Rolling, the arrest up. comes just days after Full learning that hearing from an earlier violation of the NFL's substance abuse policy would take place later this month. Now, he already faces a potential one-year ban from the league for the previous violation. He was suspended for the first two games last season for a failed drug test. He also failed multiple drug tests while in college. Gordon set a team Ready, record screen. with over 1,600 receiving yards in a season in just 14 games last year. He led the NFL in receiving yards. And Brown's general manager, Ray up. Farmer, issued a statement Eleven saying, We are aware of the matter and are disappointed to learn of this situation. We will comment further at the appropriate time. Gordon has been released on bond with a court date set for August 28th. Al has more from the team in sports coming up at 9.30, so stay with us for that. Meantime, questions Ready remain C. surrounding this Gordon's arrest and release on bond, including who was the man who posted Gordon's bail? Up, Justin Cleavenberry of our sound. NBC affiliate WNCN in Raleigh takes up that part of our team coverage. up, sound. This is the area where police in Raleigh pulled over Josh Gordon just before 3 a.m. As he drove a 2015 Cadillac 50 miles an hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. They said he was following another SUV too closely, right, smelled of alcohol, and admitted to drinking three mixed drinks and vodka. Police gave him a breath test and he had a blood alcohol concentration of 0 .09. That's higher than the legal limit of 0 .08. He had to surrender his license and can't drive in this state for at least 30 days. 
Gordon posted a picture to Instagram four days ago at the Raleigh-Durham International Airport. It followed a picture of him on a plane saying he needed to get out of Miami. This morning, Gordon was released on a $500 cash bond. Hayden Fats Thomas posted that bond. Here's a picture of Thomas from his driver's license. He is a convicted felon facing pending drug charges, and last year he reportedly rented an SUV to former UNC and current Charlotte Hornets player E.J. Hairston the night of Hairston's drug arrest. It's not immediately clear why he was in this area of North Carolina, but he is due back in court in August. In Raleigh, Three, North Carolina, two, Justin Quisenberry, one. now back to you. Music, Mike, here. Well, as we were the first station to break the news, we will continue to follow Ready any 12. new developments. We'll have up to the minute information at WKYC.com. Play your music, she's up. Now to an update in the murder case Ready of B, Cleveland Heights cool. restaurant owner Jim Brennan. Cleveland Heights police say they've gotten full confessions from the four suspects in custody. The news was released the same day Brennan was laid to rest. Channel 3's Hillary Goldston has that story. Rolling B sound. A crowd of hundreds coming to Jesu Parish to pay their respects to Jim Brennan, drawing hundreds of people from the community as well as close family members and friends, all of them to pay their respects. The priest delivering an uplifting message saying that we are haunted by this tragedy, but Jim is not lost. He is indeed bigger than life. Family and friends hold one another. Their support a comfort right, as they mourn a this. prominent Cleveland Heights restaurant owner. Wherever you are, Jimmy, we love you. 61-year-old Jim Brennan gunned down at his bar, Brennan's Colony. It's real, you know? No. He's my boss, my brother, he's everything. You know, Jimmy, too cool to go like this. Hundreds showing support, relatives, friends, and community members united for Brennan. He's one of those guys everybody knew and was, you know, a left. great guy. And people are just remembering all those great things that he did and did for other people. We'll wait to a From inside the church, the priest delivering words of comfort. That we are not defined by our last moments, by a tragedy. Uh, I shared baseball tickets with him, Indians tickets. He's a great guy. Everything that's been said about him is, is, is absolutely true. Very involved with a lot of people. Um, big mentoring 30. person for other people in the restaurant and the bar industry. And it's a, it's a sad thing. The lines of cars seemingly unending. Even people from out of state coming to show their respect. The priest also saying that Jim Brennan always saw our Stand good before he saw our faults. Encouraging the people listening today Ten. to remember the good times they had with Jim Brennan. He was buried at Old Soul Cemetery in Five Charlotte. Seconds. In University Heights, Hillary Golston, Channel 3 Open News. Cam, and in the wake of the murder, local merchants have come together with this t-shirt design. To All the proceeds raised will benefit the Cedar League Merchants Association and Jim Brennan's memory. At last check, they've raised more than $7,200. Wipe. Well, this afternoon, the family of Maggie Daniels will receive visitors for calling hours in Cleveland today. The 31-year-old Daniels was found dead in North Carolina early last week, and police are investigating it as a homicide. Cleveland area native was a North Carolina high school teacher. A funeral mass is set White for day. Monday. Two Cleveland firefighters are Sound, out of the hospital uh, today Venus, after being heard day. battling a house fire Saturday morning. The fire broke out right around 8:30 at this two-story home on Olympia Road. Now everyone got out okay, but could fireworks be to blame for starting that fire? Well, we spoke Stand to the daughter B. of the woman who lived there. Rolling sound. Not sure. Landed up in the in the third floor. And it started to smolder like it was just sitting, catching fire. And by the time the fire hit right downstairs, my mother's on oxygen. There's another five COPD, left in this. It blew up and the smoke the spread through the whole house. Mike, you were. Well, as of right now, next. no official cause has been determined, but it remains under investigation. She's up. And some scary Ready moments on Lake Erie. Eight people and two dogs had to be rescued by the Coast Guard after their boat hit a break wall on the 4th of July. The Coast Guard says Video's the up. boat hit a break Jesus wall not far from Bird Lake Front Airport. Now, everyone was brought on board a rescue boat and treated. No one, though, was seriously hurt. Music, white men. Still ahead this morning, soldiers MIB. preparing to leave Afghanistan and finally come home. We'll follow them on their white. journey. Visa. And the mayor of Philadelphia addresses his city after four children die in a huge fire. Right. The veteran Anybody New York City firefighter dies in the line of duty. He is remembered today. Three, two, one, fade it, execute. 
We are clear. Two minutes and 30 seconds. One block down. <laughs>